What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Meal Prep Monday, so I have two quick and easy lunch and dinner recipes for you. We have a Crock-Pot Italian chicken pasta that I got from Zach Cohen. I'll link his channel below. And we also have a shepherd's pie stuffed baked potato, which I got from, I believe her name is Journey to Healthy, but I'll link that channel below as well. But without further ado, let's get into it. We're starting with about a pound and a half of diced chicken and just adding that to the crock pot. And then separately, I already combined my Italian dressing and all my seasonings into a bowl. So I'm just pouring that all over the chicken. Next we have an 8 ounce block of cream cheese that I cut up in 8 equal little squares and I'm just placing that on top of everything. Once you're done with that, cover and cook on low for four hours. Four hours later. Once the chicken is all cooked, we're going to stir in the cream cheese so it's not all in big chunks. Also shredding the chicken while I'm doing this because I'm really not a fan of meal prep chicken unless it's shredded. Now that the chicken is all shredded and cream cheese is all mixed in, I'm adding a full bag of baby spinach. I ended up only adding half a bag at first, mixing that in, and then I went ahead and added the second half of the bag. Once your spinach is completely mixed in, go ahead and cover it and then cook your pasta and let the spinach wilt. I'm using the protein pasta for this recipe for a little bit extra protein. Once you've cooked and drained your pasta, add it to everything else and stir to combine. I 
also ended up dumping everything out of the crock pot liner because for this particular recipe it was more annoying than it was helpful. is the final product. We're gonna go ahead and taste test this on camera because I'm just way too excited to try this. A little bit of chicken and spinach and pasta. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> For our shepherd's pie baked potato, this is almost all the ingredients we will need. I ended up forgetting tomato paste and I had to improvise with the frozen vegetables because I also forgot those. I portioned everything out off camera and I cut my potatoes so they're about seven ounces each and then leftovers I'll use to make something else. We have a cup and a quarter of beef broth with one teaspoon Worcester sauce. And then we have a third of a cup of both peas, green beans, and frozen corn. There's two tablespoons of flour combined with all of our spices that are listed down below. And we have about half a cup of diced onion. Of course, we have our potatoes. And then I only used half a pound of ground turkey for this recipe. Not too sure what I'll use the other half pound for yet. Add your onion to your pan over medium heat and saute them for only about one, maybe two minutes. Next, add in your ground turkey and cook until it's no longer pink. Next, go in the vegetables. Stir in the vegetables so they're combined with the onion and turkey mixture. Now pour in your beef broth with Worcester sauce. Give everything a good stir so it's all combined. Now add in your flour and seasonings, but I'm only adding a little bit at a time and stirring that in so it doesn't clump all at once.
Once the flour and seasonings are all stirred in, cover and let it simmer on low while you cook your potatoes. I have all four potatoes on a plate and I am microwaving them for eight minutes. What are we doing? This is what the turkey mixture looks like after it's been simmering for about eight minutes. The potatoes actually needed to be cooked another eight minutes, but now that they're all done, I am adding them to the bowls while the turkey mixture continues to simmer. adding the turkey mixture to a bowl and dividing it evenly on top of each potato. Finally, we're adding two tablespoons of cheese onto each potato. that is all please comment down below and let me know what you guys think I should do with that other half pound of ground turkey <laughs> if you guys decide to try any of these recipes comment down below and let me know what you think I love hearing from you later in the week I'll be posting a chest and triceps workout but until then go follow me on Instagram and check out my other videos